God is a light church international city of his presence presents Reverend Sydney Alamensa. Reverend Sydney Alamensa is the head pastor of God is a light church city of his presence. He is a man of God who operates in the healing, prophetic and teaching ministries. There are times when we hide and we shut our doors physically and spiritually we do what we shut our doors there are some people here listening to the sound of my voice they are saying that lord when will i come out of this loneliness i am not talking about relationship i am not talking about physical relationship where you say that i am alone there is no beloved or there is no sweetheart there is no somebody to comfort me i am talking about the inner desire where you feel that you are alone where when you read your bible it does not go there is no voice speaking to you when you first you feel you are empty have you been at that place before i am speaking to somebody here not everybody with a standing ovation and a round of applause let us welcome Reverend Sydney Alamensa. Yeah. Are you in the house? Oh, come on. Are you in the house? I want you to tell somebody just by your side that it is about time that you allow God to come in. Hallelujah. Tell the person it is about time that you allow God to come in. hallelujah the bible says in the book of genesis lay it down for me lay it down for me in the book of genesis chapter 40 verse 52 and unto joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came which asenath the daughter of potipharah priest of onmer bare unto him 51 and joseph called the name of the firstborn manasseh tell somebody manasseh come on say manasseh and for god said to him had made me forget all my toil and all my father's house and the name of the second called he ephraim tell somebody ephraim ephraim for God had caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. I repeat again. Genesis chapter 41 verse 50 to 52. And unto Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came. Which Asenath, the daughter of Potipharah, priest of On, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn manasseh say manasseh for god said to him had made me forget all my toil and all my father's house say my father's house say my father's house uh, gone were the days when the we we brought um um physical by bibles that we could flip so we could underline it and you know nowadays if you say underline your scripture i mean they are not sure whether the person is taking a pen to underline the the, the 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 tablet or what hallelujah but if the bible is yours underlining my father's house my father's house underline my father's house verse 52 says and the name of the sick and called ephraim for god had caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction hallelujah and i believe that most of us are familiar with the scripture amen if you are familiar let me see your hand let me see your hand as much as we are familiar with this scripture we understand that joseph gave birth to two sons and named one ephraim and one word manasseh are you understanding me and each of the names that he gave to his children had a meaning are you understanding me and that is why we have heard a lot of preachers and pastors preach on the pulpit and told us that we need to be careful about the names that we give to what to our children because it can have what an implication in our life are you with me so sometimes people can give names to their 
their children because of the situation that they have gone through are you understanding me i believe that if naomi had given birth he would have, she would have given birth to a daughter and named her Peter are you understanding me because he had gone to bitterness and she changed her name from what from from something sweet to something what bitter are you understanding me so joseph had a reason why he named his two sons manasseh and ephraim are you understanding me and he said that ephraim as i name you i forget the toil that i have gone through i forget what the toil that I have gone through it means that Joseph went through a lot of things in life and when he named his he said that as I name you what I forget what one what I go through somebody say Manasseh say Manasseh say Manasseh in life there are times where we encounter wrongdoings in our life i mean i can get people here that can say that somebody has done me wrong before don't be a hypocrite can i get a witness uh, somebody has done me wrong before and in life many of us have gone through certain situations in life and some people have stepped on our toes some have even said certain things in our life that have made us feel inferior in life are you understanding me so what i want you to understand is that uh, joseph went through something in life that he had to name his son that as i name you i forgot i forget what my toil it means that he went through something and he had to what, pass it on to his son are you understanding me he said that Ephraim, as i name you i forget everything that i have gone through i am speaking to somebody here that somebody has stepped on your feet before somebody has criticized you before somebody has said something negative about your life are you understanding me and that and that people in our life we call them what enemies say enemies say enemies say enemies so we say that these people are what they are enemies of our life are you understanding me and however we expect that these wrongdoings should always come from the enemy we expect that what these wrongdoings will always want come from the enemy we expect that the wrongdoings in our lives should come from what our enemies but i am here to tell you that it is always not the case tell somebody it is not the case can i get a witness it is what it is not the case as many of us can tell that every wrongdoing that happens in our life it is coming from an enemy are you understanding me so if i get criticized in life i tag that person as an enemy if i get what criticized in life i tag that person what as an enemy but it is not always the case eh, that the wrongdoings they come from an enemy so i am here to tell you something about the father's house say the father's house say the father's house so there are times where the wrongdoings they come from what the father's house and somebody will say that pastor what are you telling me about the father's house i am talking about the family within i am talking about the friend within are you understanding me the wrongdoing in the life of joseph came to him from what his father's house it was not his fault to have to tell his brothers and his father and his mother that i had a dream and i saw the moon and what the stars bowing before me it was not his fault is it his fault Oh, come on talk back to me it is his fault it is not his fault maybe you had a dream and you saw that god had lifted you to a certain level in life and some of us as i know we we cannot have we cannot do surprises are you understanding me there are some that say that i want to surprise you but they will say it even before the surprise come are you understanding me there are some that have had dreams in our life and we cannot keep it to ourselves we are easy to say that is why there are some people here you cannot tell them your story because when you tell them they move to the next side and begin to tell somebody else are you understanding me i'm getting there stay with me so my bible makes me understand that joseph talked to his brothers about his dream it was not his fault i believe i would have done the same thing i saw my mother bowing before me can you imagine if you had a dream and you saw yourself at Heathrow airport and you saw yourself at, at california airport you saw yourself at a place where people were bowing before you you will be in a hurry to share that dream are you understanding me something will ignite in your spirit and in your heart to share that dream are you understanding me and this is what happened to joseph
Joseph. Joseph shared that dream to his brothers. Uh, but he was thinking that in my father's house, uh, I should be loved and I should be cared. Uh, I should be taken care of. Uh, people should even smile with me and say that, Joseph, uh, I love your dream. Let's pray together. Let's, I believe that God will do it. Uh, but it was not the same thing that happened to Joseph. In the father's house, there are wrongdoings. Are you understanding me? It does not always come from the camp of the enemy. But it comes from what? The father's house. And that is what I came to tell you. There are people here who have suffered some wrongdoing in the father's house. But the Lord sent me to tell you. It is about time that you let it. You let it. You let it. Joseph was expecting uh, that his brothers would come to him and say, Brother Joseph, uh, I like the dream that you had. Let's pray together because that dream will come to pass. The brothers did not receive that in good spirit. They were bitter. They were what? Bitter. And it was nowhere. It was what? In the what? The father's house. It was where? It was where? In the father's house so joseph might be expecting the opposite but it was what the other side of the story are you understanding me can i preach like i feel my bible makes me understand that the other day i'm closing the bible said that david was there when jesse called his children because samuel had visited to anoint somebody as a king and his father said something he said that that joy that that i have another son but he's somewhere else David might be expecting that his father will call him and say that maybe you are the one to be anointed but David was not called until God spoke to the prophet and said that there is I feel that there is somebody is there all these are your sons and is there another son of yours it took the prophet to speak for the father to call David to come that was what in the father's house are you understanding me a father can do this to a son that you need to understand that it is not always from the enemy but sometimes it is in the father's word it is in the father's word can I preach like a fear in the father's house somebody can speak to your face and can speak very nasty concerning your life in the father's house somebody can tell you that you are nobody are you understanding me in the father's house somebody can tell you that you are going nowhere he is a Christian he is a believer he speaks in tongues you might look at the person and say how can this person in the father's house speak something negative about my life but God wants us to understand that in the father's house there are wrongdoings but when the wrongdoings come you have to run. let what let what let what and somebody might say pastor huh? last time when we closed you didn't even greet me it is in the father's house huh? somebody might say pastor huh? you greet everybody on the road you left me behind huh? it is in the father's house huh? the lord want to tell us that in the father's house huh? there are errors and there are omissions huh? the father's house is always not perfect huh? can i preach like a fee huh? the father's house is what huh? is always not perfect huh? somebody can say that man of God. When it was my birthday you never called me. It was in the father's house. Somebody can say that when my birthday you didn't even test me. It was in the father's house. The Lord sent me to tell you that my father's house is a work in progress. It is not perfect yet. It will be perfect when Christ comes. Are you understanding me? Can I preach like I feel? In the father's house there are errors and there are omissions. Somebody can say that why are you dressing like this in the first day i went to convert this woman and i brought her to church but all her life have been clubbing and disco and all that she doesn't have any decent dress and she comes to church and dress in some way and in some manner just for the first day the second day the third sunday people begin to look at her somewhere but she is what in the transition to better her life now can i preach like a fear i'm preaching to somebody the Lord says in my father's house it is not perfect are you understanding me in my father's house somebody spoke to you in a way you never lied in a father's house somebody even took something that was yours but the Lord says in my father's house as far as there are wrongdoings there is also grace for mercy tell somebody mercy 
Say mercy. Say mercy. The brother I'm closing, the brothers of Joseph, huh? they could have said that, oh, Joseph, huh? uh, we like you so much, we love you. Huh? In the father's house, you can share your dream to somebody just by you. Huh? They might not be happy. Yes, it is in the father's house. Many of us we have we have received contamination in the father's house. Some of us have said the things that they have said concerning our life. We don't even feel like coming to church again. It is in the father's house. But the Lord says, My house is not perfect. He says, I didn't come for the righteous, I came for the So today I'm not perfect, but I'm in the Father's house. Today I'm not looking well, but I'm in the Father's house because I am a work in. I'm a work in progress. Somebody shout the Father's house. The Father's house. The Father's house. And the Bible says that it did not even end there. David, when he met Goliath, do you know what his brothers told him? Where are you coming? Go and attend to the sheep. What are you doing here? Listen, baby, people can speak some words to you. It can demoralize your life. It can, listen, sometimes it can be from your pastor. I'm telling you. Let me preach like I feel. It can come from your pastor. He can speak a word that can demoralize you. Why you nipa? What you must say? He is a man like you. He might be going through certain things, and at that moment he might have said a word, no malice about it. But as you receive that word in the father's house, you feel a pain in you. Are you understanding me? If it was not the grace of God, people might have moved from. They wouldn't even stay from what they would move. Today, this week, this church. Tomorrow, this week, this, next time, this week, this church. Are you understanding me? But the Lord says, my father's house is not perfect. Are you understanding me? Uh, it, it, it doesn't come only from the enemies. It comes from friends. Are you understanding me? And it comes from what the family. And also in the inside of the father's house. And I'm talking about the church. Are you understanding me? Are you understanding me? If the brothers of David could have told him that, what are you doing here? Yes, go, go. Then I will your cry. I believe they even said, who crab bone said a giant. Are you with me? Now, who, who, listen, some people can speak some words to you. Sometimes it takes grace for you to be lifted up. They can tell you that. Are you understanding me? Can you imagine you are about to marry and you prepare your plans and you say, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that. And somebody look at you and say, hey, who do you want to do it no more? Are you understanding me? But you have the means, you have the resources, you can do it and do it well. But they will tell you, just do something, something, something. Say something, something, something. But in my father's house, there is mercy for everybody. Are you understanding me? The Lord sent me to tell you, be watchful. Do not take offense. It's not perfect. Say, it is not perfect. It is not perfect. Are you understanding me? So someone said that, hey, you know, it is, it is a norm. People say that even in the world, my friends, they love me more than those in the church. They say it, right? It is not always the case. Are you understanding me? Because we have not come to a place to understand really how the love of God is for us. We have no one come to what understand are you with me so a friend of a friend and betrays you a brother of a brother a sister of a sister betrays you and because of that you say that i am leaving the father's house how many of us have been hurt before in the father's house don't be a hypocrite are you understanding me are you understanding me? In the father's house, somebody say, ah, I said I want to sit here in the, on this chair. You say me, I want just some small thing, and there is a quarrel. And and you know, and what the enemy will incite you to say is that hey, it is not perfect. It is not perfect. 
it is not perfect. Are you understanding me? Listen, when somebody speaks that words to me and say that Nyami fear crown away, I tell you, the house of God is not perfect. My God came for sinners, not for righteous. Today I might be beauty, but the Lord is locating me and He will make me well. It will make me well. That is why the other day the Bible says, Yes, the vision is yet for an appointed time. It will tell you, but it will come to pass. Do not belittle my small beginning. It shall be well. Tell somebody, It shall be well. In the father's house, in the father's house, in the father's house, in the father's house, Jesus, Jesus, even Jesus, even for the Son of God, when he was 12 years, he couldn't perform any miracle because instead of him fighting with a real enemy, he was fighting with people in the father's house. He was fighting with the Sadducees and the, and the Pharisees and the scribes. They were fighting him. In the father's house, the mother was looking for him and saying that, where is my boy? He said, leave me, let me go and do my father's business. In the father's house, instead of us to be united, we are fighting amongst ourselves. Are you understanding me? Because they fought him, he couldn't perform any miracle. That is why there are some people here. There are some people here when you invite them to go and even minister or sing or go and preach in some places, and the people come with expectation and they receive him. You see miracles and wonders and powers. Mebwa. Linda Mebwa. Are you understanding me? Because in the father's house, we are fighting amongst ourselves. Why is it that this person was giving the mic? Why is it that this person will? Why is it that? Why is it that? Why is it that? Are you understanding? Why is it that all the time it is this person? We are fighting amongst what? Ourselves. And that is why the church is not progressing. Are you understanding me? You see churches that are multiplied and they are increasing. They understand they are to commune and to be united and it flows from the top to the down we appreciate who you are we appreciate the gift of God upon your life the Lord sent me to tell you somebody might have hurt you in the father's house but he says have mercy are you understanding me so I closed so Joseph said I named my firstborn what Manasseh and my second born word Ephraim. Are you understanding me? And the spiritual meaning to this is that that Joseph understood that I need to let go of my past. If I don't let go of my past, my Ephraim will not come. Are you understanding me? And Ephraim means multiplication. Are you understanding me? If I let go of my past, I open doors for miracles. If can I preach like a thing? If I let go of my past, I open doors for blessing. Are you understanding me? You need to let what your manasseh come. Are you understanding me? For the Ephraim to open doors for you. Let your manasseh come for your Ephraim to one open doors for you. Anything or kind or say, I forget what my toil. Anything or the Tony man or say, I forget what my toil. Forget what my toil. Tell somebody you need to let go of the manasseh. Come on, tell somebody you need to let go of the manasseh. Hey, so I yo I mean hey, sometimes I so guy ban or I am the Eradi Mun Kwa sorry beam Munsum Yame Krabi that is the plot of the enemy. So like it can can you imagine? Can you imagine Joseph stealing his brothers? They put him in a pit. Recently we had the story. Of the guy, of the boys that killed one 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 guy, and when they were testifying in court, they said something. He said, "His cousin looked at him and said, 'I don't know why do you want to kill me?' This is the kind of 
world we live in. He said, why do you want to kill me? Looking at your own brother and picking a stone and hitting him for him because of money. So can you imagine that if somebody had gone through such pain, there are people here that people have helped you, hurt you. I am talking about real feeling of hurt here. I am not talking about forgive and let it stay. I'm talking about forgive and forget. Forgive and what? Forget. The fruit of the spirit, one of them is love. Forgive and what? Forget. So when the brothers came, Joseph could have called the army and said that, hey, no, let's be realistic here. Your own sister take you to Abala, Abala to destroy your destiny. And you realize it and this same sister comes before you like that. Let's be fair to ourselves. You would put the Bible aside. You might even say fire by tender, by crashing, by car, by tsunami, by... Are you understanding me? And you look at people that you have helped before you have helped genuinely you've helped and they turn their back against you i'm closing so joseph looked at his brothers and he said i forgive you he listen he could have called the army to come and carry them away and all that but he wanted to forget what his toil are you with me because we have had pain and hurt in ourselves that is why some doors are not opening catch you say man in call no why why will i want to there are so many things ahead of you to do so why do i want to put this thing in me all the time i'm looking at my shoulders are you understanding me we move on you see that is where we are where we are now we move on tell somebody move on move on forgive forget and move on tell somebody forgive forget and move on ffm forgive forget and what move on in my father's house say in my father's house every baby and bow in your one father's house you have not seen siblings that are fighting eh because of it. hallelujah siblings real not not stable blood because of a japadio they are they were they are killing each other one generation after the other are you understanding me and if somebody hurt you like that the lord say forgive and won't forget and a typical example is the life of joseph he said, i forgive my brothers look at somebody say forgive me you are not smiling it means that there is still something there say forgive me are you understanding me let it go and let the lord bless you please be upstanding on your feet please lift up your two hands for me how many of us joseph said that i forget my toil and he named his son manasseh how many of us want to forget our toil let me see your hand wave yes hallelujah amen tell somebody it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you need a manasseh you need a manasseh so what you are telling the person is that you have to what forget. forget you have to forget tell somebody i need a manasseh i need a manasseh i need a manasseh i need a manasseh for an ephraim to come for ephraim to you come. know some of us our ephraims are they are close mm. very close sometimes it could be a brother it could be your your blood what was sister angasa mm. but why yeah because it's a family why you are the only mean country you know? mm. say, oh you know may god give us that grace people that can just confront you and say reven Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. So, uh, I, with all humility, you know, I am your part. May God give the church some grace. Amen. 
Are you understanding me? Amen. Than walking and you are what you are looking at your soul. When you see the person, you are you are like you are on phone, you are hiding. You know, when the person passes here, you also enter here like that. Mercy. Tell somebody you need a manasse. You need a manasse. You need a manasse. For your Ephraim to come. For your Ephraim. For your Ephraim to come. For your Ephraim. For your Ephraim to come. For your Ephraim to come. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Anything. Anything that I have harbored. That I have harbored in me. In me. That is blocking. That is blocking my blessing. My blessing. Father, help me. Father, help Let me. it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ya taka da ba da ba ya da ba. Ya ba da ba da ba. Ya da ba da ba. Ra ba da ba da ba. Ra ba da ba. Ra ba da ba. Ra ba da ba. Ra ba da ba ya da ba. Ya ba da. Ra ba da. Ra ba da ba ya. Ra ba da. 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 Ya da da. Are you praying? Ya da da da. Ya ba da ba ba. Ya da 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 ba. Ra ba ba da ba. Ya da da da. Ra ba da ba. Ya ba da ba. Ya ka ba da ba. Ra ba da. Ra ba da ba. Ya ka ba da ba. Ra ba da. Ya ka da ba. Ya ba da ba. Ya ba da ba. Ra ba da ba. Ya ba. Ya ba ya. 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 Ra ba da ba ya da. Ya ba la ba. Ya ba ba ya da. Ra ba la ba. Ya ba la ba ya da. Ya ka ba la ba. Ya ba la ba. Ya ba la ba. Ya ka ba da. Ya ba da ba. Ya ba la ba. In Jesus' name. Manasseh came first, which means forget. Say forget. 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 Listen, I speak in the office of my calling, and I tell you mm. that some things, if you don't forget, they will block your blessing. Block your blessings. They will do what? Block your blessings. Block your blessings. Lift up your right hand for me. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Help me to forget. Help me to forget. Help me to forget. Help me to forget. Listen, look at me. Have you read like there are times where? When you open the door for remembrance, who also now we crash you. When you see the person even post something on Facebook, say, hey. Let's see. then you begin to remember and say, "Hey, them girl, I told you, me one. Them guy, I told you, me one." Hey. And open her blessing, be crab. Into a big flower, I'm on contract of rest as he here. Many a brave the phone crab to baby. Nice. Are you understanding me? Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Help me to forget. 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 Open your mouth. Pray for the next one minute. We are taking deliberate. Help us to forget. We pray the name of Jesus. Rata bada 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 bada. Ya bada bada bada. Rata bada bada bada. Ya bada bada bada. Help us to forget. Ya bada 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 bada. Ya bada 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 bada.